Oh! Oh, um... I'm just having a cracker. I, uh... I was just thinking what, what this video should be about. So maybe, well, as I'm eating, I guess I could talk about maybe some of the unusual or weird Malaysian eating habits. I think that's a good idea. All right, let me, let me get ready and let's get this video started. What's up, everyone? My name is Nick, and today I'll talk about probably the most important part of being a Malaysian, food. This is Global Gibbon. So it seems you guys like my previous video about weird Malaysian habits. So I thought I'd dive a little bit deeper and talk about weird Malaysian eating habits. Hmm. Malaysians love eating food, as I've experienced while living here for all these years. There are delicious dishes available and amazing fruit that just grows on the trees here. So let's dive into this video and talk about the 10 weird Malaysian eating habits. Here we go. Number one is chilies. Yes, I know, I know, I've talked about this before, but I cannot start this list off with anything else. It has to be chilies. Malaysians love eating chilies all day, every day. If you go to a Sunday market, you'll see so many different types of chilies, of different colors, of different shapes, and really, there's just so many different chilies available here in Malaysia. In the Netherlands, if you go to a restaurant, you will have some olive oil, some salt and pepper on the table, but here in Malaysia, you will always find some chopped chilies and soy sauce. Number two on this list of weird Malaysian eating habits is hot food in the morning. So I'm from the Netherlands and when I first arrived here in Malaysia, it was a bit weird to me to eat hot food in the morning. In the Netherlands, I would maybe have some bacon or some sausages for breakfast, but that's pretty uncommon even in the Netherlands. But here it is very normal. It is the norm to eat hot food in the morning, whether it's a hot porridge, a dish with some hot noodles or even some rice. This is what Malaysians eat in the morning. And for me, it was a bit difficult to get used to, but I do enjoy like a nice noodle in the morning, a hot meal in the morning. And by the way, with that hot meal in the morning, Malaysians would definitely have some chilies as well. On number three of this list is something very unique to Malaysia, which is a pulled drink. So yes, with eating comes drinking. So Malaysians love their te tarik or pulled tea. It is a tea that is pulled up high and poured down to create some froth on top. And you would see people drink this during the day in a coffee shop, in a restaurant, in, 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 in any of these places where people eat. And I love myself a nice te tarik as well, as long as it's not too sweet or sugary. Number four on this list is an extra meal. A late night supper. If you're not from Malaysia, you think it might be normal to just have three meals per day. However, for a Malaysian that might not be enough. So there is this thing called uh, supper here in Malaysia. It's, it's called supper. And people would have this extra meal late at night. So at like nine or 10 o'clock in the evening. And if you go walking throughout cities here in Malaysia, you would see people having a full on extra dinner late, late at night. Could even be at 11 p.m. And I guess it kind of makes a lot of sense. It's just another good excuse to try and have more of this delicious food that Malaysia has to offer. Number five on this list is, of course, the 24 seven coffee shop culture. As I said earlier, Malaysians love to eat food all day. So one of the most unique eating habits that I've noticed here in Malaysia is that people are in coffee shops the whole day. And wherever you go in a bigger city in Malaysia, there will always be people sitting at a coffee shop having a cup of tea or having a cup of coffee. Now, if you're an early bird and you need a cup of coffee at 5 a.m., it's not a problem. If the bars are closed and you still want to have a nice beer at 3 a.m., it's not a problem. 
If you are hungry at 1 a.m. and you want a chicken rice, it's not a problem. Just go to one of these 24-7 coffee shops. I think Malaysia trumps the world with their coffee shop culture. There is always food or drinks available at any time of the day. So if you're hungry, you can always find a place to eat. You'll never have to be hungry here in Malaysia. Speaking of coffee shops and coffee, if you like my channel and you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Now, let's get back to number six on this list of weird Malaysian eating habits. Number six on this list is eating out every single day. It is very common for a Malaysian to eat out every single day. In the Netherlands, which is where I'm from, we would eat out in a restaurant maybe once a week or maybe even only twice per month because eating out in a restaurant is a lot more expensive than eating at home. Here in Malaysia, it is the opposite world. Food at coffee shops or restaurants are very affordable here in Malaysia. You can get a meal including maybe one or two drinks for less than 10 ringgit, which is about three US dollars. So this is why many Malaysians would eat out every single day. This might be a little bit unusual for people from other countries, but yes, that's how it is here in Malaysia. Number seven on this list is every family dinner is a seafood dinner. Large seafood restaurants are in abundance here in Malaysia. These restaurants would usually have really large round tables with a lazy Susan in the middle. So all the food sits on the lazy Susan and you can spin it around. These table could host up to 20 people per table. So for small or big families, this is the place to go to celebrate some special occasion. Additionally, when one of the uncles strikes the 4D lottery, there is another excuse to have another one of these big family dinners at a nice seafood restaurant. Number eight on this list of weird Malaysian eating habits is ice cream on a bread roll. So when I first came to Malaysia, my wife asked me to go for ice cream. So I was super excited because I wanted to try some local ice cream. So she asked me whether I wanted a scoop of ice cream on a cone or on some bread so i was rather confused because to me you don't put ice cream you don't put ice cream on bread but that's what she had and i just had mine on a cone i am not a great fan on ice cream on a bun but malaysians seem to love it i've tried it but i would rather have some cheese on my sandwich mm. so the next one on this list is um Eating only, but no talking. Whenever I go out for breakfast or dinner with my wife and her family, I'll keep my phone in my pocket and we would usually have a chit chat together and talk about life or whatever is happening. However, when I look around at a coffee shop, I see a lot of families sitting together, which is great. They're having a family meal, but they're, in one hand, they'll have their phone, and in the other hand, they'll have their chopsticks working their food into their mouths. And I don't know whether this is a typical Malaysian thing. I think it happens all over the world. But to me, it's, it's pretty unusual to have dinner with family or have breakfast with family and not look at each other. Just look at your phone and just eating and eating. To me, pretty unusual. Number 10 on this list of weird Malaysian eating habits is another one related to the phone. It's gumbar, gumbar, gumbar. Whenever I go out with a meal with my friends, I notice that whenever the food arrives, they take out their phones and they take pictures and pictures of their food, different angles and different light settings. And yes, you know who I mean. And to me, that's a pretty unusual habit, just to take a picture of your food. And I don't know, I, I still don't really get it, unless it's like amazing food, of course. So sometimes I might have actually finished my own food before my friend is done taking photos and can start on his meal. So yeah, definitely a weird Malaysian or worldwide eating habit. To wrap up this video, I just wanted to say that I love living here in Malaysia and I love the coffee shop culture. There's always someone available for a cup of coffee or chit chat. 
and the food is delicious here the people are amazing and I must say some of these quirky habits have become my own habits and I don't mind it at all thanks for watching this video if you liked it please leave that like and if you're not subscribed yet click that subscribe button and hit that bell that notification bell so you get an update whenever I upload a new video for now it is bye bye and we'll see you next week bye bye be able to see and you would be able to even have a